guys. This week we're talking about 2012 releases that we're really excited for. I have a couple books that I want to recommend to you first before I go into ones that I haven't read and are dying to get. Um, so these are books that you just, you need to have, you need to buy them or pre-order them, you know, like soon. I've been like pimping out these books everywhere pretty much, so this is probably like my last space to cover. But yeah, that just shows you how much I love them. So, Tempest by Julie Cross. This is a time-traveling romance with a 19-year-old protagonist. A 19-year-old male protagonist. So, um, those things alone should convince you that you need to read this. But if that doesn't, I can tell you it's super exciting, super fast-paced, and it just, it just grabs you and doesn't let go. Incarnate by Jody Meadows. Harmony went into this one. I just, I loved it so much. Like. This book, this is definitely like my favorite of the 2012, well, maybe. <laughs> um, this is definitely one of my favorite 2012 releases that I've read thus far. And like, it's it's so beautiful. The writing is gorgeous and the characters are just so awesome. And yeah, yeah I just, I love this book. Next is Cinder by Marissa Mayer. This is. This is why I was kind of doubting my love of Incarnate, because this one was really, really good too. I I cannot say how awesome this book is. It's got cyborgs, it's got people from the moon, and it's got a lot of technology, and it's set kind of in like, supposedly the future, but it seems like society is kind of digressed instead of progressed. Anyway, it's so good. Um, if you like sci-fi, and even if you don't, I think you'll really like this one. And it's also a spin on the Cinderella fairy tale, which is which is good. But yeah, definitely, definitely order this book. And the last 2012 book that I'd like to pimp out to you is Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. This is a another one that's kind of taking place in the past. It's historical. It's got it's got witches and it's got like crazy conservative neighbors. <laughs> It's, it's definitely one for you if you like that sort of high society feel um, and the girls who dare to defy those traditions. So <clears throat> this one is really good. The writing is gorgeous and the romance is absolutely adorable. So Born Wicked. Woo. I know I'm, I'm definitely forgetting some, but those are the ones that just totally stuck in my mind and also the ones that I have here. Um, so now for ones that I don't have. I am looking forward to Harbinger by Sarah Wilson Etienne. I really want to read this book because it sounds super creepy and super intense, but also like kind of cool. So definitely looking forward to that. Also from Penguin, I want to read A Temptation of Angels by Michelle Zink. I read The Prophecy of the Sisters back when it first came out in like 2008 or 2009 and I did not like it. But I want to give Michelle Zink's writing another chance. I recently read a short story by her and I really, really liked it. So I'm thinking that I need to try her new series. Just, you know, starting clean, no biases, Michelle Zink. <laughs> um, so I really want to read that one. I really want to read Grave Mercy by, I think it's Robin Lefevers. Um, when I looked at the catalog for Harcourt, it was it says R.L. Lefevers. But that one looks so cool. It's a historical fantasy with assassins and the old cover had a wolf on it so I'm thinking that wolves might be involved. But either way, I've been seeing a lot of people getting it in the mail and I'm just like, wanna read that? Wanna read that? <laughs> but um, yeah, it looks super awesome. I, I love historical fantasy. Stolen Away by Alexandra Harvey. This one is Alexandra Harvey's take on fairies. I know she's done vampires and ghosts, so now she's doing fairies. And I really loved Haunting Violet, and I also really liked her Drake Chronicles, so I figure she can't go wrong with fairies. And the storyline sounds really cool. It sounds like there's going to be lots of intrigue. I'm looking forward to Struck by Jennifer Bosworth. This is about a girl with a lightning addiction, um, which sounds kind of crazy, and I really love how unique the storyline sounds. Like. It could go anywhere, and I am so excited to see where it goes. Also from Macmillan, Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. This one sounds like it could be kind of cutesy and fluffy, but I I love those books. Like, 
I want to read it. It sounds really cool, and it's got mermaids in it, so instantly sold. Purity by Jackson Pierce. I It doesn't have a cover yet, but I really want to see what Jackson Pierce can do with contemporary. She's been really good at writing relationships in her fantasy books, and I'm really interested to see her take it a step further and not have that, I guess you could call it, fantasy crutch. But, you know, her Sweetly and Sisters, but those are great books, but um, I really want to see her, like, get emotional, and I think Purity is going to be really emotional, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. The Selection by Kira Cass. This one sounds like it could be really interesting. It's about, like, a princess competition, and so it could be, like, really cutesy fluffy, or it could be, like, super cool and, like, kind of almost playing on the stereotypical princess stuff. So I'm really excited to see what Kira is going to do with that. Hemlock by Kathleen Peacock. Okay, first of all, look at the cover. Look at the cover. It's beautiful. Barring that, the summary sounds really cool. It's got mystery and werewolves and murder, so I am dying to get my hands on that. I think it's going to be really exciting. So those are a couple books that I'm really excited for in the next year. I cannot wait. I love new book seasons. Like, they get me so excited. I love looking at the catalogs and making lists because I'm weird like that. I'm sure you do it too. You do it too. You know you do. Don't lie. Don't lie to yourself. Anyway, I will see you guys next week. Bye!